Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. We out here today, y'all, harvesting some burgerkins. Yes, we are. We uh we got our work cut out for us, right? Look. <laughs> How that supposed to happen though? <laughs> y'all, these gherkins have just kind of left their row and folded over to the next row. Okay? Yeah. yeah. But y'all to be look, Mr. H has already been out here harvesting. He harvested a lot. Yeah. And we're going to show you that, but there's still more to harvest. Now, I was still inside doing some canning this morning when he was out harvesting the gherkins. But y'all, I'm going to take y'all in for a closer look, and I'm going to show y'all this blanket of bur gherkin. Like because a canvas, right? It's a canvas. It's running. <laughs> I don't even know where it started at. Oh, well, see, now these right here are, the first ones right here are the um, Mexican sour gherkins, which we probably won't grow again. You want those again, babe? No, I prefer what we, <laughs> what we got right here. I prefer these right here. We ain't doing that no more. No. <laughs> uh, they just, in our opinion, y'all, if I grow them, it'll be like in a container. That's the experiment going bad, y'all. Well, it didn't go bad. I mean, they grew, but they were so small. Like They was too small for us to even want to deal yeah, with. Yeah, you know? <laughs> they were small. And then the flavor is not all that great either. Yeah. But I would say if you wanted like a snacking little mini cuke or something you can can up and go in a jar and maybe, you know, pickle it for salads or something, then yeah, that would be a great idea. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but that's a but, micro mini snack. But, well, actually, I think if we wouldn't have planted it with the burgerkins, planted them in a large container with like a wire cage trellis or a tomato trellis, tomato cage trellis, something like that to keep them easy to harvest, then yeah, yeah. but yeah, that was just, mm-mm. -mm. It mm -hmm. wasn't. It wasn't a good deal. No, not the way we got them planted. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I but, mean, they grew pretty good. But oh, they grew. Look at them. They grew pretty look good. Look at them. They everywhere. The little men, the little sour gherkins are all under there. They everywhere. You have to find. You one. touch the plant and they'll fall off. They'll fall to the ground. Let me see. Can I find one? Okay. Now, look, y'all. I'm gonna turn. Oops. I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can. You found one. Oh, wow. They everywhere though. Look. See y'all. Who wants that? <laughs> we just don't. <laughs> Mr. H, where you at? I'm right here. We don't want to deal with that anymore. No. I really have this. Exactly. <laughs> you, when, when this is sauteed, it holds so much flavor. Oh my goodness. This is like, by looking at it, you'll think it's hard, but it's not. Mm -mm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you. I can see they see the vegan people would be crazy. About oh this yeah, y'all would love that. People who are vegan, vegetarian, y'all would absolutely love these bird gherkins. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how I cook them up too. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all this. Let me turn y'all around. All right, y'all. Look at this. Let me step down. Just look at this right here and how it just goes on over just look to the next row and it's just covered everything and they're coming all out to here okay so y'all look at this just look at this and look at how it has just blanketed the row all in the middle of the row right all of these are burgerkins let me show you this right here i'm gonna lift this up so you can see Look at that. Can y'all see? Woo! Can y'all see those? Mr. Yeah. H is showing them to you. Look at that. Here's some more, right? Ugh. Look at there. See, I already picked. Look at these. Pick here and it's still some. It's still a lot. Yeah. Look down in here, y'all. Look down in there. There's yeah. more. And look, there's more. Yeah. They're everywhere. It's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And they're everywhere. Now, Mr. H was fixing to show y'all about what we planted on the third row over from yes. it, which is some watermelon, you all. 
Now this right here, remember we just planted the strawberry watermelon after we lost everything in our watermelon patch. But I'm going to do an update. I'm going to show y'all the watermelon, okay? I'm going to give it its own video because I want y'all to see all of the watermelon that we have growing. Give it mm -hmm. fresh dew on it, huh? Yeah. But y'all, look at all of these gherkins up in here. Look, I'm going to lift this up right look here. That. Look. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see. I don't know if they can see all down in there, babe. Can y'all see all down in there? We need to harvest them since we see them. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here. And let me see if okay, I can I, get I, my I foot get in there. Oh, man. Look up in here. Just look all up in there. There's more of them. Y'all, I tell you, I'm going to show y'all what to do with these, okay? When they get to be a nice size like this, y'all can harvest these at any stage is really what I absolutely love the most is that I can harvest them when they're not quite ready. I can harvest them when they're ready. I can harvest them when they're overripe, okay? And for what I'm using them for, it's still going to turn out absolutely perfect. It doesn't matter. And they'll keep growing until the frost hits them, you all. So, me uh, planting that many, <laughs> probably don't need to plant that many again. But I tell you what, it will give us a freezer full of food, right, babe? Yes, yes. yes. When I harvest this morning, mm -hmm. I started from like right here. Mm -hmm. Right there? Uh-huh. Yeah, right there. Okay. To here. Uh-huh. To here. And a little bit on the end down there. But you weren't able to get in the middle though, was I it? wasn't able to get in the middle. Okay. And wow. I got, this is what I got. Wow, from just that lip y'all, look at that. Look at that. From just that small space. From that small space, they was all up under. All everywhere. This is like half of a 17 gallon container right here. And he only harvested about five to six feet of the area with all of these gherkins in it. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. They're everywhere. And the reason why mm -hmm. I didn't go that far because I didn't want to uh -huh. Mess up the flowering from the uh, watermelon. The watermelon, I got you. Yes, I, I don't want to step on any young watermelon. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get in there with my smaller feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I needed your smaller feet this morning. Yeah, and try to wake the finagle my way in. Yes, yes, y'all. Now I know somebody's gonna ask. Y'all not afraid to go up in there? It might be snakes in there. Mr. H, are you? No, I wasn't See? afraid. I was well equipped. <laughs> Mr. H wasn't, but y'all, I be on my P's and Q's, my tiptoes looking, right? Before I put my hand in there, I be looking good because our... Uh, when I had my tool with me, you know. You did. You I don't want to show it on camera, but I okay. had my tool with me. I got you. I got you, babe. I and, got you. Um, and I didn't have any problems. Yeah. You know, I think what really helped us out mm -hmm. was such a wonderful... Uh, I'm going to turn around, make sure they can see you yeah. with this sun. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I think what helped us out really uh -huh. is when we got that black gold compost and we yeah. irrigated it really good. Yes, we did. You know, we trellised it up and we made our rows. But that trellis didn't do good. Well, it, it did some good. It, well, yeah, it did better than nothing. But what do you think about a cattle panel trellis next time? I think that'd be better. Yeah. But really, this trellis Ouch. right here is like a canopy to hold moisture. Yeah. The, Underneath. And it definitely does. Yeah. Yeah. Because there is no way you can't even see where we planted. No. Uh, you can't even see the holes there. It is so well covered and it's definitely doing a good job. That blanket is holding in the moisture. Yeah. Definitely so, babe. I agree with you. Yeah. And see, you see, um, the reason why I know it's very cool up under there because the cats love getting in there. They do, don't they? Yeah. They do love getting under there, just laying down. Yeah. 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 So we got a lot of. Good. This is one of my favorite. Baby loves those. <laughs> and also, this right here. Oh. Eggplants. The eggplant that we harvested. We got so many beautiful eggplants. Oh, what Lord. What are these called? That is an Ichiban or an Ichiban eggplant. Japanese. Japanese. Uh-huh. Ichiban. 
Yeah, and that's just a regular. I forgot what kind of. I don't. Is that a black beauty? I think that is. Those are black beauty. Now we are a little late harvesting those, you all, but they're gonna be fine. Now, being able to make eggplant parm with those and. A freeze dryer would come in handy yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. That's what a freeze have dryer to would in. come in handy right now because I could make that eggplant parmesan and put it I in that freeze dryer. That. That's one of his favorites. Eggplant so, parmesan. And those burger cans. That's, yes. That's going to kill Oh, yeah. Right and right. that jerk chicken. You want to tell them about that jerk oh, chicken? Oh, yeah. That jerk chicken came out fine. I mean, uh, Wild Pine 3 yeah. came over. Yeah. They gave us a... A nice gift. And they it sure was did. Jerk seasoning. Yes, yes, yes. And some Mrs. Jerk H seasoning. got some chicken and put that jerk seasoning <laughs> and let it marinate overnight. Mm, it was good. It was so good. Oh, it was good. We didn't want to share it with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they was looking. Their eyes was getting big and like, oh wow, what is that? What's I'm this like, smell? I think we better open up another pack of yeah. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we think y'all probably need to take a field trip outside somewhere. Because, oh, <laughs> you know, this jerk chicken is ours. <laughs> we shared, though. We gave the grandbaby son. Yeah, Wild Pine 3 came through. Yeah, they did. Thank y'all so up. much for that, because that was awesome. Yeah, that was really good. And we also got a Kushaw right here. Now, one of uh, our Kushaw that grew, one of our that is a jumbo pink banana right there. And I had to get this one earlier. Yeah, it it's split. split. Uh huh. It so probably I'm... ain't even good. But anyway, y'all, this was the Kushaw that I was able to harvest right here. Uh, that Mr. H harvested from our Kushaw plant. We still had some over there. One of them. Look, where did it go? You took it away, babe. Yeah, I took it away. Y'all, a rabbit, rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. We're gonna talk about them. Y'all. All of the kushaw that we had growing over here, two of them were ready. We got one, the rabbits ate the other one. And then the smaller kushaw that were not quite ready, y'all, they got them too. Yes, they did. Remember I showed y'all this and I said, hey, don't let that fool you. It's food growing up in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was kushaw and the jumbo pink banana squash everywhere in here. And I kid you not, the rabbits did a number on them. And I was hoping that because of all of the coverage that it would be like some protection. But I guess that was not going to work. It did not work. Ain't no stopping Bugs Bunny. Mm -mm. Bugs Bunny got in that one. Mm -mm. Waskily Wabbit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we need Elmer Fudd out here. Yes, we do. <laughs> we need Elmer. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I think what would be best for us going forward is to put some type of a fencing down, fence, huh, babe? Yeah, 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 we need to put a fence up. Yeah, just a little bitty fence, you know, to keep the rabbits out. Yeah. You know, because that's the only thing that's getting in, chomping on our vegetables like this in this garden. So we are going to remedy that. Yeah. God willing, we're going to remedy that for the next season, okay? Because I'm very disappointed in the amount of kushaw that I have. Now, in the raised bed, we had a a, a leftover kushaw plant. <laughs> and I put it in there, didn't it, babe? Yeah, yeah, she put it and in there. And we got two kushaw growing in yeah. the raised bed without me paying it any attention. Yeah. Yeah, they look yeah. pretty good. They looking pretty good, too. So... That's, that was just a, a spare plant that I didn't want to get rid of. I have a hard time throwing plants away. So, you all, let, let us show you this right here because, um, well, actually, I'm going to do a separate video on this because this is very, very special, okay? But what I am going to do, you all, is I'm going to take you all inside. I'm going to show you how we get the bird gherkins ready for the freezer. Y'all are not going to believe how easy it is. Y'all are not going to believe this is probably one of the easiest vegetables you can put away. I promise, if not for me, the hands down the easiest to put away to save for when you're ready to fix it. And we will be growing this again. We, yeah. Oh, we, we man. Gonna, we're going to do it again. Oh, man. Yeah. My son-in-law is the one who recommended it. Now, my daughter don't care for him. <laughs> but my son-in-law is the one who made this delicious dish 
and I have never ever gotten over it and when I found the seeds he said those were what it was and so this was our first year growing them and I have to admit I am not disappointed are you no no I love it mm -mm. y'all we love this meal and we're gonna show you how we process and prepare those burgerkins okay you all so i'm gonna show y'all those burgerkins one more time and then y'all if it's not on your list of things to grow you might want to think about it yes because it is a never-ending harvest <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah they don't quit they don't quit <laughs> everything it. else is dying back not them yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, man. They still going. They because just like was, them loofah. Because we was eating those earlier, what, two months ago. We was Actually, eating you're right. We yeah. were eating them before we even started harvesting cucumber. Yeah. We yeah. sure was. Yeah. So they started early, and they long past the cucumbers. Yeah. They still going strong. Y'all see them, right? Yeah. All right. One final look at these babies, and then y'all... In another video, I'm going to share with you how you process them, put them away for future eating, and how you can make a delicious meal. Oh, man. Me and Mr. H could just really just eat those. They are so good. Oh, yeah. But anyway. She put some on the plate. She said, okay, this is for us. She kept eating. Most of the half of the plate was gone, y'all. That's how good they were. And I was like, hold on. I got to have some of these myself. <laughs> Cause they were so flavorful. Wasn't they, they are very. They were really good. You can't stop. Mm -mm. Once you start eating one, you are gonna keep going until they all gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I put my foot in it. Yeah, she did. And world did around. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's gonna do it. Just wanted to show you. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. <laughs> we just wanted to show you those burger cans, y'all. I'm telling you. That's a lot from just, and hey, that's not, he only did about five feet on one side of the trellis. Yeah. Not both sides, not the other end. Yeah. One side. Can, can you get the full that's view That's a lot, huh? Yeah. You want me to? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, yo, that is our, they're called... West, I think West India Burgerkin, okay? Or it could be India Burgerkin. But in any case, big shout out to my son-in-law for saying, you're going to like it. And when he cooked it, O-M-G. Oh, yeah. Pretty <laughs> so good. So you all, um, I'm going to be making a recipe similar to his with these. Yes, I am. And that's what I had been making for Mr. H. And like I said, it doesn't matter at what stage you harvest them. You can harvest them when... Oh, oh really? <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> you can harvest them when they're small, not quite ready. Or you can wait until they're much larger. It doesn't matter. This recipe is still going to work perfectly for these. And it's so easy to put them away, okay? So you all, y'all stay tuned for that video on how I am going to prepare these burgerkins. Now, they are a type of cucumber. Yes, they are. Baby, there's something on me right there on my arm. I think it was a microscopic bug. A uh, net. A little small net. That's why I have to put on long sleeves. I hate <laughs> that feeling of something crawling on my arms, y'all. But uh, anyway, y'all, I will be sharing that recipe with you all. You can eat them fresh if you like. They are a cucumber. They cu That's what they are. They're cucumbers. But the flavor is different when you prepare them the way that I'm going to show you. Okay, y'all? All right, that's going to do it. Anything else in the stage? That's it. Got a bug on you too. Okay. Yeah, that's it. We got some fresh, fresh harvest. Yes. That we are glad to get in. We are so grateful. And, uh, yes. Appreciate y'all super subs. Yes. And uh, that'll be it. I can I can officially say yes, yes, y'all. Actually, I got one more thing to say. What, what you got to say? 
look you all we were showing you the cushaw okay i got one in the cart and two in the raised bed back there okay but if you remember from last year's video do y'all remember how many cushaw we harvested hey wasn't it a lot it was a lot yeah it was a lot and i said that to say every year is going to be different yeah so when you do get an abundant harvest of one thing do your absolute best to preserve it because that is not going to be a guarantee that next year your harvest will be the same you may not get as much you may not get any at all y'all i know y'all probably can't really see us because of the sun but you may not get any at all okay so when you get an abundance of something like we didn't get an abundance of kusha but we do have an abundance of burgerkin oh, yeah. and i am going to put these babies to good use yes. and that away next season what if we don't get that many yes you see so i just wanted to say that every year is going to be different you know every time you grow something one year it may be a tremendous success doesn't mean that that's going to be the case the following year and this year you may have grown something that didn't do well at all and when you plant it next season it'll be just overly productive for you yeah okay so the the moral of the story <laughs> preserve your harvest when you get an abundance but don't be discouraged if you don't get what you hoped for okay just keep trying keep growing keep growing keep growing your groceries grow your groceries grow your i groceries. like that yes i like that grow and your own groceries will, that's right and <laughs> it will be so rewarding for you oh, yeah. in the long run all right y'all so now i'm done that's it can that's i say it now? you can say it yes yes y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all if you haven't done so already go ahead and give our video a nice big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel Thank you all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. We're going to see y'all in the very next video. Peace.